What if you could find content and control your home entertainment system from your phone? That's exactly what we're going to show you how to do. Let's take a look at how Yumi simplifies your life. Easy to set up and easy to use. You start by purchasing an infrared device for your phone or iPod Touch from one of Yumi's partners and then launch Yumi. When you launch Yumi, it asks for your zip code. The reason for this is that Yumi provides a complete channel guide on your phone. Once you enter your zip code, you see a list of content providers in your area. Pick the one that you receive at your home. Here we've picked Comcast in San Francisco. Now we see the program guide. We're going to come back to this later. Yumi provides hints as you go through setup. These hints let you know how to set up and use Yumi, and they're great when you need help getting things set up. We're going to turn off hints for now. Let's start by setting up the remote. We first add a device that we want to control. We'll start with the television, a Samsung TV. We pick the television, then Samsung, and then we have to figure out what remote codes work best for our TV. We see a group of possible codes and a power button on the left. We aim Yumi at the television and click on the power buttons until we find one that turns on the TV and then select from that code group. It's simple and you don't have to look for the model number or train it from the TV remote. We now have our television set up. We add a Comcast cable box, which is made by Motorola, as we see from the front panel, and add that device. We do the same thing with the power buttons, and now we have the right device ready to go. Here's what our device control looks like. It's cool! We have buttons for the channels, guide, menu, and info. Finally, we add a DVD player. We go through the same process to add our Panasonic DVD player, and we have all our devices set up and ready to go. While we have our devices all set up, we may have features we don't use, or button styles we prefer, or maybe buttons that aren't even on the display. Let's take a look at how we change the layout. We click on the Edit button for our device, choose Edit Layout, and then decide we don't use the Menu button. So then we want to add a button called Foobar that controls a feature we like. We choose to learn a new button while in Edit Mode. We scroll through the buttons, see that Foobar isn't in there, so we pick the custom button and we name it Foobar. It adds the button, and now we very simply follow the on-screen directions to learn the Foobar button. This is so much fun. You might actually get lost setting things up instead of enjoying your show. Another terrific feature of Yumi's remote control is activities. Instead of turning each device on and off and trying to remember which device to change channels, we can set up an activity. We're going to set up an activity for watching television. For watching TV, we need both the television and the cable box to be turned on. So we add an activity by tapping on the plus button and pick Watch TV. It pre-configures the activity. We're happy with the settings, so we tap Next. And now we need to tell the control what controls the volume. It's the TV in this case. And we need to tell the Yumi remote what device we will be using to change the channels. We want the cable box to be used for the channel, so we select that device. There are some advanced settings that can be used when necessary. Here we don't need them, so we finish and our Watch TV activity is set up. We go through the exact same process to set up Watch a Movie. The process is simpler as there are fewer options to choose. All right, now let's watch TV. I know it'd be much more fun to keep on configuring Yumi, but that's something you can do on your own later. So let's click on the right activity and we have the setup that we need to watch TV. We don't have to go back and forth to different devices on the remote to make sure that the right controls are being used. Another great feature with Yumi is locations. While most remotes can't provide the ability to control multiple home entertainment systems, Yumi does. The advantage of locations is that we can control different systems in the same home or even at a friend or relative's home. Let's enable locations and pick a system for the kitchen. To 
show the versatility of Yumi, we will even pick a different channel provider for the kitchen, which is very easy to do. We just go through the same simple process by adding devices and activities exactly as we did it before. How simple is that? We can set up an activity if we want to make it that much easier. We're going to go back out into the living room and watch TV. I know, you're probably getting worn out from all this walking, but Yumi makes it worth it. We go into the TV activity, and now we want to find something to watch, so we pick Guide. You saw the guide actually when we first launched Yumi, but now we're going to use it. We go into the program guide, and it shows us the programs we get on our system. We can scroll through the guide, or we can jump to the channel selection using the numbers on the left. Try and do that with your cable box. But what is even better and more useful is that right now, I'm thinking about food, and I want to find Guy Fieri. He's funny, and he knows a lot about food. The problem is that I don't know if he's on, I don't know what channel on the cable box carries the food channel, and I can't remember his last name. So I start typing. Wow, I just type in Guy, and he's on. Guy's Big Bite, that's the show I'm looking for. And there's a description of his show. Now I don't have to go back to my activity to watch TV, that would be a pain. Instead, I just click on watch and the TV goes straight to Guy's Big Bite. Now here's something really cool. Not only can I watch Guy from this screen, I can share what I think about Guy with all my friends. I just tap on the check-in tab and I can tell all my friends about Guy. I let my friends know about it with a message and rating and then click check in. It goes to my Facebook login if I haven't logged in before, and then I've posted. It's never been as easy to share my viewing with friends on the internet. You may think that this is already way more than you expected, but there are still features we haven't looked at. For example, there's gestures. Now you wanna quickly raise and lower volume. So go into settings and then gestures. Here we're gonna set up Yumi to recognize our volume up and down by simply swiping the screen up or down. We pick these settings here, and then we're all set. Finally, we have accounts. Why are accounts useful? Well, most of all, we can save our settings in case we change things and can't figure out how to quickly get back to where we were. We've all done that. I'm going to log in, and Yumi knows that I have a saved configuration. Now I can choose to save the new one or use the saved configuration. So that's it. Now just download the free app, attach your infrared control, and get ready to have the time of your life.